So, wow, look at that. The signature. So, what do we got in the box? Bevel cutter, vertical cutter, instructions. Underneath there, we've got two sprint mats, pencils, 50 blades, bone, that's the burnishing bone, two cutter stops and a mount stop. And of course, you've got the system in the middle, the really, the business end of it. And in the end here, we've got the accessory box. There we are. We have the screwdriver for adjusting the blade depth, the marker gauge, that's the, the block and the shaft is behind there, tucked away, and the tape measure. The signature system. Move the parallel bar to a measurement that you require. The scale is in uh, metric and imperial, so the choice is there for you. I'm going to move the line on top of the bar here to the measurement that I need on this occasion. Slide it in position, secure it. I'm working on the back of the mount board, of course. I'm going to slide that underneath the main rail up to the leading edge of the bar. Mark with a pencil the measurement that, that you've preset. Slide the mount down to the mount stop. So the mount is now secured in two directions, one against the parallel bar, one against the mount stop underneath the rail. The bevel cutter, this hooks on to the main guide rail. We're going to line up the V with the pencil line here at the beginning and do the same at the end. And we're going to secure those positions using a cutter stop at each end. We slide that together with the cutter and lining up the pencil line to the V, secure that position, do the same the other end, bring the two components together, line up the pencil line, secure, rest the hand on the unit, bring the cutter back to the beginning, drop the blade into work. So the action is drop the blade into work, push the cutter away from you until it finishes. So push away, lift the blade out at the end of the cut. Turn it around to do the opposite side. We're doing a rectangle as you see here. Slide the mount up against the parallel bar, down to the mount stop, same dimensions, repeat the cut. Now we're going to do the short sides of the rectangle shape. So I've pushed the mount down to the mount stop underneath. I'm going to use my cutter here to reposition this stop, line up that pencil line again with the center of the V, keep the stop up against the cutter, secure, rest the hand, bring the cutter back against the starting point, drop the blade in, push away, lift the blade out at the end of the cut. Do the same again. These are in the right position because we're doing the opposite side. Drop the blade in, push to the far end, so off that comes, out pops the mount, and there you are. Now the really slick thing is here, I can repeat the same thing on a blank piece, so I'm going to slide that underneath, up against the bar, down to the stop, pop the cutter on, no marks, off we go. Now that's really slick, and you can repeat that as many times as you like. Mm -hmm.